of original search by L. Ron Hubbard have brought the humanities, so long outdistanced by the exact sciences, into a state of equality, if not superiority, to physics, chemistry, and mathematics. By science, Hubbard meant this shit that I made up. What causes the mind to depart from rational thought or behavior? That is the subject of Dianetics. Because for all of the things that Dianetics is, one thing it definitely is not is a science. Don't. Okay, good. Are you attempting to investigate Scientology? Every moment of your life, your mind is recording everything that's happening to you. Every sight, every sound, every taste, smell, pain, emotion, touch, everything. Uh, we're not simple video camera uh, in our minds, you know, between our ears, recording the world in some objective, simple way, that even the simplest, most obvious things are interpretations of the world around us at many different levels of thought and feeling and perception. These recordings form what is called the time track, a consecutive record of all the experiences accumulated throughout your existence. And that our minds, the way our minds are constructed, determines the world that we experience, that we see, that we occupy and even very simple things that we think are pretty objective and simple right in front of our eyes are determined by inferences and deductions that our mind makes, uh, weighing sources of evidence in the world and coming to conclusions about what's around us, what we hear and what we see and how we think. But some of your experiences are not recorded into those analytical memory banks. It is a discovery of Dianetics that all of your painful experiences are stored in a previously unknown part of the mind. It's called the reactive mind. Now, your interpretation, your beliefs guide tremendously what you think you see and how you interpret the situation for complicated things or even easy things. Now, do you have any books? Do you have the Dianetics book? For you to enjoy life and reach your full potential. In short, the mind will be clear. That is the goal of Dianetics. People achieve this state every day, and so can you. Because a, a clear is an, is a, it, even though LRH says absolutes are unobtainable, that's a state that he called a homo novus. You're not even a human being. You're not even a homo sapiens anymore. Homo sap, as he calls it. You're a homo novus with the new man in Latin. There is what is known as a post-hypnotic suggestion. An understanding of this can assist in understanding of the basic mechanism of insanity. Have you come across any data unfavorable towards Scientology from the internet, news, TV, or any other sources? What do you guys recommend? Like, should I research it and like definitely not uh-huh that's the worst thing you could do it's, the, it's a new state on the evolutionary track so i'm more evolved than regular mortal humans um, we should just maybe just at least get into i saw there's a scientology youtube page yeah i wouldn't go to youtube no such knowledge has ever before existed and no such results have ever before been attainable by man i mean if you read dianetics I mean, the, the state of clear is somebody who is uh, never likely to get sick. Uh, he has a perfect memory. That would be incredible. That would be fantastic. One problem, it doesn't work. Yeah, there's the slight problem of there's no empirical evidence to back up anything that Hubbard says in the book. You need to bring oh, like 25 bucks and I want to get that book for you. There's a guy on the internet apparently who's saying, yeah, I'll give you a million bucks if you can demonstrate OT. I'll give a million bucks anybody can demonstrate clear. Many of his most important claims are actually untestable. And none of his testable claims have ever been validated by a legitimate scientific study. So far as we can tell, there is no such thing as cellular memory or a thetan or the reactive mind. There's no fucking clear. There's no clear. There's no clear. You know, I mean, just looking in Dianetics, there's no clear. Clear is basically, uh, I mean, what are you kidding me? The only evidence that Dianetics is capable of successfully treating psychological disorders comes in reports published by the Church of Scientology itself. And we know this from now 150 years of neurology where you damage areas of the brain and faculties are lost and they're clearly, it's not that everyone with brain damage is perf has their soul perfectly intact, they just can't get the words out. Yeah, you don't trust the internet? No. Scientology.org is the only official okay. site. And everything else is it's fake news. Fake. Right. It's all fake. It's all fake. So you don't have it with you right now? You don't have anything with you right now? No. This is the, you, everything about your mind can be damaged. 
by damaging the brain. You can cease to recognize faces, you can cease to know the names of animals, but you still know the names of tools. I mean, the, 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 the fragmentation in, in, in the way in which our, our mind is parcelated at the level of the brain is not at all intuitive, and, has, and there's a lot known about it. But if Dianetics makes for a bad science, it makes for an even worse religion. I was uh, declared to have been uh, somebody who had gone clear in a past life, which would have been my last life. And what we're being asked to consider is that you damage one part of the brain and the mind, something about the mind and, and, and subjectivity is lost. You damage another and, and, and yet more is lost. And yet if you damage the whole thing at death, we can rise off the brain with all our faculties intact, recognizing grandma and speaking English. The best traps, you get a guy that just keep himself in jail, right? And that's what Scientology does. You just keep yourself in jail. And that you, you know, that's it. You, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect theta trap. Because you, you know, you believe it and you are investing your time and your money. And so it's, you know, you can't be a fool. That's too much to confront. You know? And they give me the secret materials, which I've been hearing about all this time. They're handwritten by Hubbard. You have to keep them in a locked briefcase. Be very cautious because they've always said, if this gets out, it's dangerous to people. You can actually do them harm if they are not adequately prepared. And I read it. <laughs> and it doesn't make any sense. This gobbled story it didn't make sense. I think remember for one fleeting second thinking, well, maybe it's an insanity test. Maybe if you believe this, they kick you out. <laughs> you know? Maybe that's it. That, of course, is not the case. They talk about, you know, the fact that the Earth was created at such and such trillions of years ago, and this, this guy, this, this space guy. Galactic overlord, this was the prison planet, and people being caught and captured and being brought to planet Earth. And put them in volcanoes and then blow them up with A-bombs. Whoa. I studied geography in school. Those volcanoes didn't exist 75 million years ago. And we have these lost souls all over us, and we have to get rid of them. And I'm going, what? <laughs> What are you talking about? Did you get the money for the books? You need to start getting course, do courses. You mm. need to get a hold of your wallet.